Hi all, Hiker Big Tex here. Today I'm going to review the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Echo 2 tent system. Those that you've seen my videos before will know that I used this on my uh, AT through hike from Damascus up to Katahdin. Unfortunately at the end my son laid claim to it so I lost ownership. I then went to an MSR Hubber and then the Six Moon Designs Skyscape Trekker the Cuban fiber version but after a lot of uh, deliberation I decided to go back to the HMG Echo 2 just because I loved it so much and recently in the Black Friday sale they had something like 20% off and I just couldn't resist so here it is it's arrived um, I'll get it out of the bag show you the contents and then put it up so three parts to this tent um, what you need to consider is it does not come with stakes so you're gonna to have to order them separately when I originally bought my HMG at trail days in Damascus I purchased the um, nail type stakes that HMG sold and to be honest I didn't particularly like them so what I've done is I've ordered some titanium shepherd hooks which I ended up going to with the six moons design and I much prefer that style uh, they're obviously titanium so they're light and they'll suit nicely on this HMG Echo 2 so I'll be using them it also doesn't come with a ground sheet or footprint of any type you don't need it I didn't use one for the entire trip that I was on the AT and no issues whatsoever I'll probably start using one with this one just to preserve its life a lot longer and all I've got is some Tyvek, which I'll place underneath. And that's mainly just to protect the base of the Cuban from abrasion, etc. So, having taken it out, the Cuban fibre sack it comes in. There's three parts. The beak, the inner, and then the outside tarp. And what I'll do is I'll put it up now so you can see what it looks like once it's put up. And um, with this tent, it requires two trekking poles which is convenient obviously you don't have to carry separate poles you can put it up using sticks or um, tying guy lines to trees etc throughout my entire AT through hike I used trekking poles so that wasn't a problem at all So here's the tarp. As you can see, it's a huge tarp. I'll put the measurements on once I get home and measure it with a tape measure. Um, the actual tent system can be used with a tarp without the inner. So if you're going out in the summer and you particularly like to be ultralight and you don't need the bug net, etc., then you can use the tarp part only. Personally, I always use the inner. I hate bugs. So I much prefer to have the inner on at all times. And the inner section actually attaches to the tarp and then can be left there permanently. So the inner tent connects very simply to the tarp by the use of six of these elasticated straps and simple plastic clips. So here is the tarp in the inner. I haven't put the beak on yet. I'll do that in a moment so you can see that. Literally takes a minute to put this tent up. And it's solid. I went through some real horrendous storms in this and never got wet, never blew down, never had any issues whatsoever. Obviously Cuban fiber, 100% waterproof. If you look at this short clip I'm showing now, this was from New York. Erected the tent in the dry during the night, a heavy storm come through. And when I woke up, there was an inch of water around the outside of the tent. But inside was perfectly dry. None of it seeped in whatsoever. As you can see, this is a true two-person tent. Two people can easily comfortably sleep in here and have their backpacks inside as well. Obviously I used it as a one person and I had plenty of room.
So the internal length is at about seven foot. And the internal width is over three and a half foot. So the internal height in this configuration is two foot four inches. You could heighten that by increasing the height of your trekking pole. But I'm five foot eight and that's enough for me to sit up in, move around, get dressed, etc. The tarp length is over eight and a half foot. with each side of the tarp being at the four foot point. And the way I've got my trekking pole set up, the height of the tarp would be nearly three and a half foot. But obviously if you were living in it, you wouldn't need it that high. As you can see, plenty of room to saw your backpack, your wet boots, whatever you need, outside the tent. The beak flaps can tie back, and obviously be brought down if needed during inclement weather or at night. So if you look, I actually peg out the bathtub. Uh, that takes four pegs. The tarp itself takes six, the two strengthening guys, one of each, and then the beak requires one. So 13 tent pegs in total. On my original version, I actually replaced the paracord that came with it with a reflective paracord. Obviously it didn't increase the weight, but just meant when you're walking through at night with your red light on or something, the guy ropes would reflect back and you wouldn't end up tripping over them. As I said, you can use this just as a tarp on its own, as a bug tent with some jimmying. You can attach a rope or a guy to hooks under here, here, to a tree or something, same at the other end. So you don't even need necessarily your trekking poles. And also, the inner tent has an area that could attach a rope to, or a guy, and attach that to trees. So all you'd need to carry, really, then, if you knew the weather wasn't going to be inclement and you didn't want a tarp, is the inner tent and some pegs. So there we have it. HMG Echo 2. Absolutely loved this tent on the AT, went through horrendous weather, never failed me, not once. And that's why I'm back with it. Can't speak highly enough of HMG or their gear. As some of you may know, I use the HMG Windrider as my backpack. Also love that. Cuban fibre, light, and waterproof. Perfect for something like a through hike of the AT or some longer distance hiking. But equally, I'll be happy using this on weekend trips. Thanks for watching.